Hey, what's up everybody? In this video, I'm going to show you how to unlock, root, disable encryption, and install a custom recovery onto your Nexus 6 using the Woodfresh Nexus Toolkit. Now, for those of you who may be new and have not previously viewed my restoration guide, I'm going to go ahead and refer back to the installation process from that video before we proceed with the step-by-step -step unlocking guide. And I will include all of the links necessary in the description found below to simplify this process. Now, once you are on the website, go ahead and scroll down to the middle download section. You'll click on the NRT Android file host link and download the file from the mere appropriate to you. And once you have in fact installed this application or program, you will then proceed to see that it will launch system notifications and pop-ups indicating that ADB has been initialized and any necessary updates are being applied to the toolkit. After this process has completed, it will present you with a model type selection menu. From here, you're obviously going to select the Nexus 6 as your device. Now, the second drop box is going to state that you need to select the current running Android build. Once you have selected your device and builds, click apply. You will then be followed by a USB debugging dialog box, which will basically make sure you are in fact in debugging mode in the developer options to have this Nexus toolkit work with your phone. Now, once this is complete, just go ahead and click OK to continue. You'll be followed by a dependency downloader screen, which will show you the files necessary to download in order to root, install custom recoveries, and disable encryption in the future from after the restoration process if you so choose. Once that is completed, it will automatically advance into the main program. From here, you will begin the initial setup process by clicking on the full driver installation guide option. You will then advance to step three tab, where I also recommend you follow the Google Driver installation solution by selecting that option. You will be presented with a dialog box, just click OK and it will basically tell you that you are updating the latest fastboot drivers. Once you have gone through the setup process, exit the driver configuration guide and return to the main program. Now that the installation process has been completed, you are in fact ready to unlock your bootloader. But before we proceed with this step, I do want you to be perfectly aware that this is going to wipe your entire device. So if you have any important files, documents, or pictures, make sure you back these up before we continue. Once you are ready, go ahead and select the unlock button. You will be prompted with a dialog box, which is going to inform you to enable the OEM unlock found in the developer options menu. Once you have selected this, go ahead and go to OK, and you will be followed by another dialog box, which is going to give you two different ways to achieve your bootloader. You can do so manually by powering your device off and then using the power button and the volume rocker down at the same time, or you can use the automated script found within the Nexus Root Toolkit, so long as you are currently using USB debugging. Once you have selected your bootloader method of choice, it will automatically unlock your phone. After this process is complete, it will reboot your device and you will have to go back through the initial setup process. Once that is complete, make sure you in fact enable developer options once again and enable USB debugging to proceed with any automated scripts available through the Nexus Root Toolkit. Now that you are unlocked, you have full control to customize and flash files onto your device. From here, the next step is the option to disable encryption. This will in fact make your device run exceptionally smoother and speed up your data transfer rates. Once you are ready, navigate and click the Advanced Utilities Launch button. Then navigate to the Fast Boot Flash Boot Kernel option. Click OK on the pop-up dialog box, then select the No Force Encrypt option. The next dialog box will inform you that flashing a No Force Encryption kernel will wipe all user data. So make sure you have a backup before continuing the flash process. Once you are in your bootloader or ready to run the automated bootloader script, click OK. This will immediately flash the NoForce Encrypt kernel, perform a fast boot user data format, and then reboot your device. This can normally take up to 5 minutes or longer to complete. Once you are rebooted, go through the initial setup process and make sure to enable USB debugging once again to continue using the Nexus Toolkit. Now that you have completed the unlock and optional NoForce encryption process, you may root your device as rooting will give you full administrative access to the Android operating system. I recommend you untick the custom recovery additional flash option and save the custom recovery as your final step to avoid any complications. Once you are in your bootloader or ready to run the automated bootloader script, select the root button and select OK in the pop-up dialog box to run the automated root process. This will temporarily boot a modified image to run commands in order to push the proper root files onto your device to gain full administrative access. 
your device should reboot a total of three times for the root process to complete. Once rooting has finalized, follow the final steps on the dialog box to confirm the root process was successful. Now that you have unlocked and rooted your device, you are ready to flash a custom recovery. Recoveries are used to make and restore backups, wipe partitions, and flash data onto your device. Once you are ready, navigate and click the Advanced Utilities Launch button. Then navigate to the Fast Boot Flash Recovery option. Click OK on the pop-up dialog box and then select Latest TWRP. This will immediately flash the TWRP custom recovery followed by a reboot. Once your device is rebooted, you will be notified to confirm that your recovery was installed successfully. Simply follow the steps provided in the dialog box to ensure the process was successful. That pretty much wraps up this entire guide on how to unlock and customize your Nexus 6. I hope you all found this to be helpful. If you enjoyed this video, definitely punch that like button and show your support by subscribing to my channel. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comment section below. And as always, I will catch you guys in the next one.